back to the Historical Society of Pennsylvania. I do want to ask about for a first time researcher who's maybe done most of their research on ancestry or family search and, yep. and worked only with digital records online yep. and, and yep. typing things into that search box. Yep. What can they expect when they come to the historical society for the first time? So one of the things is I always try to tell people, and we have working relationships with Ancestry.com, Find My Past, and Family Search. So we have good relationships with all three organizations, two of which, Ancestry and Find My Past, are commercial for-profit companies, and FamilySearch.org is a nonprofit. So, however, I do have a beef with, with Ancestry, which is, you know, one of their lines, you, you can't watch you know, TV at night without hearing an Ancestry.com commercial. It's like, all you need to do is type. It's like, oh, you need to do a lot more than know how to type. And if you limit your research just to an online database, you really are limiting. Now, what they do is they, they add spice to it by saying, look, I found all my cousins in Ireland, and I went there, and they treated me, and I had beer, and it was wonderful. Well, all right. I do DNA testing myself. I would never think of uh, putting it out there because I don't want people calling me saying, hey, I'm your cousin. Can I stay with you in Philly? No, uh, <laughs> you're not going to do that. But the thing is, when they come in the door, we're going to show you real documents, documents that have not been you know, added to databases. Some have been added to databases, but you're going to go and, and you look at the originals. But you're mostly going to find items that are going to be new to you and you're going to be a detective, and you're going to be looking at these things, and you're going to be seeing sometimes the handwriting of your ancestor, and you're going to be finding perhaps some photographs, or you're going to be finding where they lived in the city, and you're going to find an insurance policy for their house. You're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe they had, you know, a lanai back then, or something <laughs> like that. You're going to, it's going to be eye-opening, it really is. Yeah, and that that's a wonderful story, and I and I share your same position about ancestry and the and the marketing around it. The one that gets me is the woman does DNA testing and she finds out she's related to George Washington. It's just oh, it's just yeah. that simple. It's like in yeah. you know within twenty oh. minutes. Yeah. And and genealogy is detective work. It is, yep. and and it's enjoyable detective work in that you do find especially at the Historical Society of Pennsylvania, things like documents you don't even know exist, like you were saying, insurance policies, you know, genealogy research other researchers did and their notes are in your closed stacks. And right. You, That's yeah. right. That's right. I've come across that a couple times uh, researching for clients as well as for myself. And it's, I don't know, there's just something really amazing to find, to find out that, that there was someone else researching the people you're researching with the care and generosity that they had, you know, yeah, did at the yeah. time, and you're kind of walking down their same set of tracks. That's, that's right. right. That's right. 